Petrov is out on the ice now for the Soviets. Petrov will go to center. Parlamov, who had that great goal in New York on Sunday night, number 17, is over on the left wing. Mikhailov, number seven, he's the captain on right wing for the Soviets. Gusev on defense. And the other defenseman will be Vasiliev. There you see Petra. Now for the Canadians, Lafleur at center. Ganey on the left wing, Wilson on the right side. Savard and Lapointe on defense, and it goes to the Canadians. Savard clearing it ahead to Ganey, and he ran into Vasiliev and went down. Huck is into the Soviet zone. Vasiliev cleared it up on the left wing. Palamov passes it, and it's off the stick of Savard. Palamov coming in. Mikhailov takes his shot and he's wide with it along the ice. Now Gainey with Wilson. Here's Wilson for the Canadian out goal. He takes the shot, the rebound to Lafleur. And Pletsiak was there to make the save. Now Wilson is bumping there along the boards with Mikhailov. And let's see. Canadians getting a penalty. John, right off the bat, we saw two things that we saw in New York the other night. A good check by Vasilia. And one of those long Soviet passes which preceded the breakaway by Murray Wilson. Well, Mikhailov moved in close to, and a shot on Dryden, but that was a great check by Vasilyov right at the blue line, right to start the game. And here's Mikhailov. He plays it out a stick, and uh, Murray Wilson ends up with a penalty. Today's penalty number 17, Murray Wilson. Two minutes for a high sticking at 38 seconds. 38 seconds, the time of the high sticking penalty against Wilson of Montreal. Petrov at center, Mikhailov on the right wing, Harlamov over there too, he remains out, Vasiliev and Gusev. So in effect, there is no change for the Soviets on the power play. For Montreal, Ganey, Chervis, Savard, and Lapointe. No score. We have just started here. We're in the first minute of play. Now Lapointe gets it over to Ganey. Ganey back into his own zone to Savard. He takes a look, clears it ahead off Jarvis. Vasiliev back in his own zone to Harlamov. Harlamov starting out over the line with Petrov. Petrov has it at the line, playing it back. And the Soviets are stymied the first time they put their power play into operation. Now Gusev up on the left side. Mikhailov over the line, a great move. He's knocked to the ice. Here's Petrov trying to clear it in front. He's knocked down. Now the puck goes to Lapointe. Lapointe slaps it off the board from the Soviets back into their own zone. Shluktov comes off the Soviet bench. Vikulov is out there too. Now Alexandrov is on the ice and he cleared it into the Canadian zone. There's the bird with it. To the point and the catch by Sibylia. Now on the left side. Lemire cleared it down the ice. Vasiliev from in front of his net. Shluktov missed it. Now it goes to Robinson. He ran into Roberts. Lemire has it and it's called on the outside. 31 seconds left. In the penalty. Hey, is doing all right, John. They had said before, while well, they didn't want to draw any penalties, they had to block up the middle, and that's what they did inside their own line, at least up to now, anyway. Well, they didn't. They kept control of the puck, too, with Ganey throwing it back to Savard. And Savard's pretty wise when he's coming up penalty, and 31 seconds left in the penalty. Shluktov, Vikulov, and Alexandrov up front. The Gankov is on defense with the Luchenko, who has the puck ahead. It goes into the center ice area to Vikulov, to Alexandria. He passed it back, and it's broken up by Robert. Robert shooting it down the ice, but now he has exactly seven seconds left in the penalty to Wilson. Now the Soviets again. Shluktov has it on the right side. He goes one way, the puck the other, and the Canadians again shoot it down the ice. And it is icing against Montreal. 
Back of the Soviet bench, you have three coaches. That's one of the assistants, Genyan Alexandrov, who for many years was a star player for the Soviet national team. Soviets, everybody up for the faceoff. Zoladukin is at center. Malsev and Popov are the wings. Kornwaye, Mahavich, and Shat. Volchenkov on defense, cleared it away from shutout to center. Now Ori to Robinson, he cleared it through center. It's gobbled up by Kuzkin, he is shot. Shot with Kornwaye, Mahavich, shot, shoot, goes! something you don't see too often, I would imagine. The Russians coughing up the puck. Here's the replay. Watch Steve Shutt release this puck. Uh, this is a great shot right in the top corner, and Trecek was partially screened. Just a super shot. Here it is in the replay again. I'm wondering if Trecek might have been looking for him to shoot to the long side, to the stick side. He caught the short side up high. Tremendous emotion. And the forum, and at 3.16, there you have it, Steve Shutt scores. So it's one nothing. But one nothing lead sometimes don't mean very much. The Rangers found that out. Well, the Rangers took that penalty and let the Soviets back in the game in New York. Number 22, Steve Shutt. This is to number 20, Pete Mahovlich, at 3 minutes, 16 seconds. Saw 316, it's a shot from Mahavlich. Petjak's a busy goaltender. He played all but four of his team's games and the part of the schedule they completed prior to this trip. There is the head coach, Konstantin Loktev, and there is the other assistant coach, Anatoly Pirza. Saw a booming blast from the stick of Steve Schutt and Montreal leading the Soviets one to nothing. It is Petrov at center against Lemaire. Ganey has it, clearing it in. Tretziak gives it to Gusev. Lemaire after Gusev, the big, tall, husky Soviet defenseman, feeds it ahead. Harlamov digging in there, fires the wrist shot, and he's wide with it. He's a tremendously exciting player, number 17, Harlamov. Vasiliev playing it out. Mikhailov gets it over to Harlamov. He left it there, and it's swept away by Lemaire. Petrov back at the line, losing it to Lafleur. Lafleur trying to center it, going after it again. Here's Lafleur, the pass too high. Lemaire rolled it in front of the net, and Gusev cleared it up. Harlamov bumped by Ganey. Here's Lafleur, center it right in front of the net, and it was grabbed up by Petrov. And the Soviets are having difficulty getting out. Vasiliev cleared it to center. Now Petrov turning back at his own line over on the swing. Harlamov missed it. Ganey knifed it in over the line. There's Lafleur going to the corner. He centered it. And there to get it is Gusev. Savard stopping it. The point rolling it ahead to Ganey. He hops it over the line. Here's Ganey with Lafleur right in front of the net. Lafleur back to the center. Siliev has received the penalty for hooking. Here was the aftermath of the play when he was sent off. That puck just lay agonizingly clear for a moment, but the Canadians have anybody around. Watch Doug Wright for him. We're going to follow it through as he falls and sweeps his stick around as he did trying to get the puck into the net. Dick, what I've noticed about the Soviets, they've slipped the four, extra forward up near the blue line for a quick breakaway pass, so they've been trying to get that puck up to that forward. Luchenko from the face-off, shooting it down into the Canadian zone. Montreal leading the Soviets one to nothing with just 4.58 having been played. There's Cornwaye in a full flight of steam down in behind the net. He's trying to center it. Peter Mahavlich goes in there to help. Here's Cornwaye getting ready to start. Knocked off a stick. Van Box near winds up for the shot. And that changed direction and went off the boards behind the net. The gang cop clearing it out. Now it's shot tied up. Peter Mahavlich comes in there to assist. Mahavlich clearing it on the left side to LaPointe in over the Soviet line. A weak shot. The gang cop. 
striking with a point, and it was cleared from in front of the net. Shluktov ahead of goes to Vikulov, over to Shluktov, he tried to get it back in front, and it was stopped out of point. Here come the Canadians, Cornwallier faking the shot, and it's stopped by Sagankov. Shluktov taking it over on the far side at center, laying it back into his own zone. Luchenko turning, now there are 37 seconds left in the penalty. The Soviets, they have that fine defensive pattern going. Mikhailov now has it. Rise brows on the ice. Volchenkov comes to center, knocked off his stick, and Tavar takes over at the Montreal line. Ahead to Lambert, Risebrow couldn't pick it up. That's Petrov for the Soviets, dumping it back in. Volchenkov, Mikhailov, made it to the boards, now it's in over the line. And Petrov is in there with only three seconds now left in the penalty. Mikhailov coming out over the line. Vasiliev is back on the ice. Good moves there by Mihailov. And he got it over on the side to Petrov. He cleared it ahead. Savard for Montreal. Over to Robinson. He chopped it to center. Gusev couldn't clear it out. In there goes Hermelov. He's probably getting ready for the night. Probably getting shot. And it's stopped by Kretziak. Outstanding work there by Trombley of Montreal. Savard broke up, Petrov. Lambert over to Risebrow, he shoots at the rebound in front of the net. They score! Of work, Fergie. Well, when Riceborough shot, he, he, Kretschak made the first save and persistence paid off, and Lambert backhands it between his legs. Better he look just... at it here, I think. Uh, better angle right here from in front of the net. Sit down, please. There. Thank you. <laughs> there it is through his legs, and Lambert gives him a 2 0 lead. The Soviets have not had a shot on drive, and the Canadians have outshot them 7 0 to this point in the hockey game. Right They're playing a fired-up hockey club here in the Montreal Canadiens. There's no doubt about it. Close-up look at Trechak, John, right here, and you see Lambert, number 11, with the backhand, and as John pointed out, persistence, he fought off the check and scored. This is to number 8, Doug Reisbra, and number 18, Serge Savard, at 7 minutes and 25 seconds. 7 minutes and 25 seconds, the time of the second Montreal goal. Popoff clearing it back to the line. Jarvis coming down on the left side, and Kuzkin broke him up. Here's Savard into the center ice area with Roberts and Wilson. Savard lugging the puck on the backhand, and he fired it around the net. Canadians Wilson trying to keep it in. Kuzkin missed it. Volchenkov takes it in behind the net, trying to shake off Wilson. Gets it over the stick of Popov, and it's Savard with it. Here's Savard. Shaking off Popov. Savard into the center ice area to Wilson. And Kuzkin cleared it back to the line. The Canadians feed it in. Now at the line. Here's Jarvis going in. He shoots it. And Kretziak got in front of it. Paul Chekhov clears it down the ice. Icing against the Soviets. Here you see these shots on goal. The Canadians have now had eight. The Soviets have not had one. In the face-off department, it's six to one in favor of Montreal. From the face-off, it's clear down the ice. The Gangkov shooting it down. The shot got away from Vikulov. Cleared it for Cornwallier. Breaking it on the right side. And Luchenko swept it off to the wing. Now here's Robinson winding up for the shot. He swept it the net. He fired it wide. Cornwallier with a backhand shot. And it went off the stick over the glass. Great chance for Cornwallier. Pretty good play by Luchenko in the first instance because Cornwallier had him beaten prior to this, moving in. Back of the net, look at it. And, they, and as we're watching it, the Soviet linesman fell down. Here's another look at it with Robinson firing it from well out. There's that chance for Cornwallier. Oh, 
wide open side. The Hovlich going in along the boards against the Gankov. Cornway passed it back off the boards to Don Ory. There's a shot to the short side. Cornway digging at it behind the net. Against Urchenko, Cornway prevails to Peter Mahovlich. Now the Soviets breaking out over the line. Alexandra down on the right side. He's upended. Canadians take over. And it is shot clearing it down the ice. Luchenko going back for the Soviets. The Canadians are called for icing. John, I would have to think that the Soviets are a little perturbed. They looked at the shots on goal and see it now 9-0. Don Ory hasn't scored a goal all season. The NHL came close and then made a good defensive play here. Here's a Boris uh, Alexandrov, and of course Donnie's a real defensive defenseman. Gets that puck up, and they haven't had a shot yet. Is right, Dick. Gusev getting it over. Vasiliev knocked it to the corner. The point gets it out on the left side. Lemaire with the first. Lemaire going in, shoots, and a hot shot is juggled by Tretiak. Here come the Soviets. Petrov to Harlamov. He's over the line. Here's Harlamov trying to work in there. There's the shot, the rebound. Mikhailov took the shot, tried to center it. Off to bar stick. Mikhailov. Mikhailov carrying it to the left side. And it's Lafleur in possession for Montreal. Gives it to Lemaire, who dumps it delicately into the Soviet zone. Now Vasiliev, feeding it ahead. Petrov couldn't get it. And LaPointe with nine minutes and 46 seconds left in the first period. LaPointe goes up on the left wing. Vasiliev to Mikhailov. He's down on the right side, over the line. Harlamov stops. Harlamov to the Hylov. To the side of the net, he took that shot and couldn't get it on the target. That was nice passing there by that Russian line. Off the Hylov. Karlamov and Petrov. Uh, Hyloff back in on the right side. Petrov working his way in, trying to slide it in front. There's Gusev winding up for a shot. And it went off to Bird. It's centered in front of the net, and LaPointe clears it. Jarvis getting it out over the line. Soviets showing their best offensive pressure of the hockey game to this point. Montreal leading two to nothing. Dukin is on the ice now behind the net. They try to center it, but Hylov had his centering pass blocked. The point rolled it into the center ice area. Vasiliev had his pass get by Savard into the Canadian zone. The point gets it for Robinson, and it goes down the ice. And the checking, something you don't see too often in games of this nature, the checking a bit close. Balchenkov and Wilson went sprawling on the ice. Now Jarvis coming in over the line. Here's Jarvis working to the corner. He's getting set for a pass. It hit Vasiliev. There's Roberts with it. Over for Wilson, and he couldn't pick it up. Vasiliev cleared it to the other side. Here's Popov out on the right side. Maltsev is across the line, getting into the spot. He fired it, and it was low and wide. Wilson starting out down on the left side. Pushkin is back there for the Soviets. Canadians are changing while the play goes on. Solidukin dropping it neatly back to Malstead. Good stick handling by Malstead. Coming up with Solidukin. And Robinson cleared it out over the line. Huck was bouncing crazily. Solidukin. Ahead uh, for Papa. And the Canadians very strong at their own blue line with the forwards coming back, as you see there, with Reisbrock coming back. Solidukin was bumped by Ori. Seven minutes and 18 seconds. Left in this, the first period. Montreal leading two to nothing. The Soviets. Solidukin clearing it right back into the Canadian zone. Schluchtoff, number 22, is now on the ice with Alexandrov. Lambert going in, broken up. The Gangkov clearing it to the Canadian slide. Ori finally got it over to Risebrow. Risebrow to Don Ori. Ori at center on the left wing. Shoots it in there. Trombley is bumped along the boards by Volchenko. He and Volchenko fight for it. Pass to the Hobbling. 
And he had that one go off the heel of his stick. The gang toss in on the board against Trombley. Are they going to get a whistle? Yes, they do in the face-off in the Soviet zone. Scotty Bowman coming through the clock and through your television set. He's got to be happy at this stage. Two to nothing. Corn Y.H. shooting it right now. And Tretziak got that glove, that pad out there to make the save. Here's Schluckoff over the line, and he fired it. He didn't miss by much on that far side. Peter Mahovlich against Alexandra. Vikulov is the other forward for the Soviet. LaPointe tried to set up his man shut, and it's down the ice. And Lutsenko touches it, icing against Montreal. Last couple of minutes, John, uh, last few minutes, really, the Canadians, I think, it could have been a little bit better inside their own line from the standpoint of handling the puck. They're covering the man well. That's true, Dick. I haven't seen the Canadians' defensemen handle a puck as much as they have tonight in the form this year. And we've been using, that's our fifth defenseman out there now, John Van, Van Boxmere. And in 1972, we went with six defensemen. If they can wear you down. Soviets with the defense of the Gangkov. Laying up along with Luchenko. Here's shot. He has scored in this game tonight. He's belted out the line by Luchenko. Now Vikulov into the center ice area, hitting the Montreal line, trying to get by Bouchard. Emma Hoblich cleared it to the line. It's brought in by Sagankov, and that's offside. 5.39 left in this first period. Two to nothing as we look at the Tretziak. He has given up the two goals. And a look at some of the youngsters, really, on that Soviet bench. Uh, number 15, Soladukov, 25 years of age. And that's number 10, Victor Kikirgin. Came over early to play with the Moscow Selects in their tour of Canada a couple of weeks ago. On the faceoff. It goes over toward Petrov. He tried to clear it in front, intercepted by Severn. It goes high. And a stick making contact while well, that stick was above the shoulder in the opinion of the official. And that calls back the play. So they'll face off outside the line. Lafleur to Lapointe. Lapointe slapping it off the boards, racing after it out to the left side to Lemaire. He cleared it into the Soviet zone. Gusev in there against Lafleur. Gusev from the corner, Montreal leading two to nothing, a pass. Karlamov has it on the right side. He's over the line, takes the shot, a quick wrist shot. And Dryden had to kick it out very neatly. That wrist shot is very dangerous. Now Petrov coming back in, trying to set up Karlamov and Savard broke it up. Vasiliev back at the Soviet line. Now Petrov going after it. Swings the pass up to Gusev. Gusev closing in for the shot. And it goes off Savard over the glass. Savard seems to be everywhere when he's out there. A degree of quietude has settled on the form as we look at Harry Sinden. The crowd was in a, a frenzy for the first eight or ten minutes. And it exploded tremendously when the Canadians got the goals. But it's been rather quiet of late. Well, they've got Scotty outnumbered back of the bench. Three coaches plus an interpreter. And they tried to get that extra line change out there, but referee Harris ruled it off. Schluchtoff, number 22, is at center. Alexandrov on one wing, Vikulov on the other for the Soviets. For the Canadians, Lambert rise round Tremblay. Luchenko cleared it out over the line. Don Ori beating it back in. The gang pop in behind the net, being watched by Rice Brown. Takes it, Rice Brown coming in, a pass to Lambert. He shoots it right off. And Tretziak had to make a good save. Here's Tomley taking a shot. And he blasted one wide to the far side. And it went over the glass. So, Canadians line of Tremblay, Rice Brown, Lambert, very alert in the Soviet zone. There you go, Tremblay playing well. I'm not so sure, John, that last shot Lambert wasn't stopped by Tremblay with his stick in front of the net. No, he let he just missed a corner in that last slap shot. He's worked very hard tonight, Mario Tremblay. Played the best 15 minutes of hockey I think I've seen him play in a long time. He's the youngest player on the ice. He's just 19. The youngest Soviet player is Alexandrov, who is 20. Face off outside the Soviets' line. Now shot. 
over to Robinson, working down on the right side against Alexandra. Luchenko in behind the net, watched by Peter Mahavlich, good stick handling by Luchenko. He fired it for Alexandra, and Alexandra couldn't pick it up. Soviets are not having the success of beating their passes tonight against the Canadians in the same manner as was the case against New York. There's a little flare up in the corner between Ori and Alexandra. Alexandra is, as I mentioned, the youngest member on the Soviet team. He scored a goal the other night against the Rangers. He's a vigorous type player, and he was selected as the outstanding junior in the tournament last year in Winnipeg. One of his Canadian opponents in that tournament was Doug Jarvis, who's out here tonight for Montreal. And there's the action that results in this face-off in the Canadian zone. On the face-off, Ori in behind the net. Zikulov, number 18, and Alexandra, 11, watching the Canadians closely. Montreal shooting it out. Luchenko hands it off. Now it's in over the line. Vikulov leaving it for Alexandrov. He spun around to Kornwaye. He's going to get a penalty for hooking. So, Danny, a chance for the Soviets as the period draws to a close. And it'll be Petrov, Mikhailov, Arlamov, Gusev, and Vasiliev. Canadians clearing it down the ice, and they are defending with Jarvis and Ganey up front with Savard on defense with LaPointe. Now the Soviets. Harlamov grabbed it at center, darting in on that left side. He dropped it back. Gusev slapping it into the corner for Harlamov, but Savard is there, plays it to Jarvis. And Jarvis starts out against Petrov. They fight for possession on the boards. Savard comes up with it. He hits the Soviet line, takes the shot. It's a weak one off Gusev's stick. Now Ganey trying to keep it in there. Mikhailov from the corner, turning with Harlamov and Petra. Gusev moves up in the play, and he's stopped by Jarvis. Here's Jarvis down with Ganey. Jarvis decides to kill off valuable seconds on that penalty. From center, he knifes it back into the Soviet zone. A minute left in the penalty to Cornwallier. Now Lemaire during the forechecking. Vasiliev. He stopped by Lemaire. And Lemaire cleared it out to center. Petrov is bumped by Roberts. Harlamov is stopped by Lemaire. And the Canadian doing a magnificent job of killing off this penalty to Cornwallier. Now Gusev sends it ahead. Petrov at center. Alexandra is up in the play. Alexandra getting it back. Vasilia takes a shot, and it goes off the mare into the center ice area. Mikhailov to Alexandra on the right side. He starts in on the wing, and it's offside with Gusev in there over the line. 16 seconds remaining in the penalty to Cornway A, and the Canadians have had a good shift right here of penalty killing from both Doug Jarvis who then left the ice and was replaced by Jacques Lemaire and if you watch the Montreal Canadiens very much you don't see this too often Jacques Lemaire sprawling to block a shot but he certainly did there and they are doing a lot of things here tonight I guess they might not normally do because as Danny has pointed out the Canadians are very much fired up well hardly just trying to shoot it down the ice we have exactly eight seconds left in the penalty to Cornwall eh? uh, Vikulov 18 is turning. Alexandrov, number 11, has it. He feeds it ahead. The penalty has expired. The puck into the Canadian zone. And it is icing call against the Soviet. Two to nothing. Montreal leading the Soviet. This is a second power play opportunity for the Soviet team. Vladimir Vikulov and his teammates. And they had not get a shot on goal in either one of their opportunities. This fellow's been on and off with the national team, Mikulov. He scored twice against the Rangers on Sunday. There's the clock situation. 122 left. Canadians lead by two. In the faceoff, Cornway to Don Ory. Here is Robinson winding up. The shot is right on, but Fresniak had it taped all the way. Here's Don Ory taking his shot. Mahali fired it, and he was wide. Cornway. Cornway along the board. He's jostling there with Luchenko. Now it's back to the line. Don Ory keeping it in. Sagankov and Kornwaye fight for it. Kornwaye has it. Schluckkopf along the board gives it to Vikulov. He fires the puck back to Luchenko. 
Now, the Vicky Lock will stop the Gangkov working from the corner. Schluchtov feeds it to Vikulov, cutting in on that right side, rammed in on the board by Don Ori. Mahavli played it to the corner. Alexandrov fell in the corner. Wilson missed the pass at center. Luchenko rolled it ahead. It was almost blocked by Lafleur. Let's see an interference penalty coming up here against Shluktov, is it? There's somebody over in that area. And let's see, the penalty will be assessed finally. And someone will go over there. Did you get that, Dick? I think it is number 22, Shlipkov. He hasn't uh, been told yet that in the National League, I guess you've got to go directly to the box these days. He went over the players' bench. Now he has returned. There it is at the top of your screen. Interfering with the Canadian player, Bob Ganey. So with 15 seconds left in the first period, and the Soviets draw a penalty. A Le Maire, a Le Fleur, shot the point and Severn. That's a power play alignment for Canadians with just a dozen seconds left. They go with two defensemen. Here's Le Fleur. Le Fleur working the corner. He left the pass quickly. There's a shot by shot. And it went off a stick over the glass in that corner area to the right of Kretziak. Three seconds left. That was almost a pretty good play. Uh, shot worked hard to get in position with Le Fleur with the puck watching. Time for... A face-off and maybe one shot. With two seconds left a few years ago, Mahavli scored from the face-off, the only goal of the game against Toronto. Doesn't happen very often. Lemire gets the shot, but it's wide, and that's going to be the end of the period with Montreal leading the Soviets 2 to nothing. Now the second period. About to get underway. And the penalty killers for the Soviets will be Petrov, number 16, Mikhailov, number 7. And the front three for Montreal, Lambert on the left side, Lemaire at center, Lafleur on the right wing, Zafard and Lapointe on the point. Gusev and Vasiliev are on the blue line for the Soviets. Now Lapointe hits the Soviets' line, working into the corner, Putting on the brakes, trying to get it back to Lambert. It's loose in there for a fraction of a second. Vasiliev and Lapointe fight for it. Lafleur is chasing it to the far side. Savard drops back to the point, back into the corner to Lemaire. Lemaire for Lafleur. Petrov is after him. Lafleur falls. Now behind the net, Vasiliev. He gets an opening, clears it out. Mikhailov over to Petrov. Lemaire wheeling back for Montreal. Lemaire over the line. His shot is blocked by Vasiliev. Gusev has it with 55 seconds left in the penalty to Schlukta. Canadians back into their own zone. Two to nothing, Montreal leading on goals by Shut and Lambert. Here's the bird. Four man attack for Montreal, and it's offside with Lambert going in too quickly on the left wing. Well, there is number six, Gennady Chikinkov, 28 years of age. This is his sixth year with the Central Red Army team. And, of course, this is the team that supplies the majority of the players to the Soviet National Club. Ten of them in uniform tonight were up against uh, Harry and John's team count of 72 teams. Solidukin, number 15, uh, Vikulov, 18, on for the Soviets. Here's shot winding up and a cannonading shot right on. Back to Van Bok, there he's got a hard one. There's the point taking a shot. Three big saves there from the firepower of the Canadians. And that Van Bok has come up with a tremendous shot and he's very accurate. Here is Van Bok coming down ahead to Cornwallier, bursting into the right side, feeds it in front, and shot the covered by Sagankov. Here's the Hobbit getting the new from the net. Pokes away on it. Kretziak is down. It's loose in front. Shot getting it back right. to the point. Slutkov is back on. Gets it over to Vikulov. Vikulov over the line. Takes the shot. The point locked it. Shot goes to the ice along with 
Nikolai. A real smart play by Peter. Both shot and Cornwire are tied up in front. Now here he comes and tries to go back on him. And he just lost control of the puck for an instant because he had Tracek beaten. All right, remember the goal he scored in game two in Toronto? That was a real classic. Solodukin getting it back. It's at the line. Volchenkov lost it to Risebrow, and then Trombley rolled it into the Soviet zone. Kuzkin, it's off Lambert's stick. Volchenkov losing it. Here's Trombley getting set. He sent it to Brady in front. Lambert was covered by Solodukin. Now the Soviets. Popov chasing it to the side. He's bodied by Lambert. Risebrow coming in on the left side. He centered it. Solidukin clearing it on the right side. It's Valsev hitting the Montreal line, gathering speed. Valsev around the net from the corner. Valsev jammed into the boards by Bouchard, who falls. Valsev doing great work for the Soviets. He pulled over finally by Risebrow. Great work there by number eight, Valsev. Now Savard on the right side. Solidukin after him. Popov goes after Trombley. Volchenkov working to the line, losing it to Lambert. Players go sprawling all over the ice at the Canadians' line. Lambert is shooting it in over the line, and the Canadians make changes while the play goes on. Now the Soviets broken up at center by Wilson. Wilson coming in with Roberts. He shoots it right on. Here's Wilson sitting on. The light went on. He hit the goal post. He hit the goal post. The light went on. Glad he hit the goal post. The goal judge was a little trigger happy there. Robinson faking the shot. Jarvis shoots it to the short side. Now they jam in on the boards in behind Presbyak. And Dick, I think the light went on, but off quickly. And the goal judge waved it off immediately. Well, Murray Wilson got it back kind of way quick. Here's a save by Trechak, and here's Murray coming up off the top post and yeah. did not go yeah. in the net. Yeah. Face off to the right of Fetziak. We are now a dozen seconds away from the fourth minute mark into the second period. Kylov takes his shot! It's gone! Mikhailov fired it, Dryden got a piece of it, and it went in. That was a quick wrist shot, Dick. And only the first shot they've had on goal in this period. Only about the second time all night, John, that I can recall that they threw one of those long passes up and it worked. Well, here's Mikhailov getting that quick wrist shot away, and I thought Dryden had a piece of it, and he did. Yeah. And it dropped in across the line. Two to one. Red Army goal scored by number seven, Boris Mikhailov. Assist to number five, Valery Vasiliev. At 3 minutes and 54 seconds. 3.54. Karlamov coming in and he's spun around by LaBear. Back is back at center. Mikhailov getting the goal. Vasiliev the assist. Here's LaBear coming in over the line. And the Red Army team right back into the thick of things. It's 2-1 to one for Montreal. Mikhailov a drop pass to Petrov. Back to Mikhailov. Petrov centering it. And it went off Dryden. The point ahead to Lefleur. Ganey is on the left side. Here's Ganey going in. He finally picks it up, works off the board. Into Lefleur. Lefleur getting set back to Lapointe. He waited too long. He was checked to Mahovic. Couldn't get it in front. Now it's tipped ahead by Harlamov. Mikhailov going in, driving out of the net, and Savard comes up with it. Savard's pass hit Petrov's stick. Now then Lefleur. Four checking is Harlamov for the Soviets. So is Mikhailov. Now Mahovlich with that big reach comes up. He cleared it ahead. And Gusev knocked it back to center. A neat move by Mahovlich. Mahovlich coming up with a, a Russian maneuver there, putting the puck between his skates. Here's Shluktov. Shluktov. Down at center on the right wing in over the Montreal line. The big fellow tried to center it. Off Ori stick. Corn YA bump by Alexandrov. Gusev failed to hold it in. Emma Havli chasing it to the far side. Alexandrov turning at the Soviet line. Back in over the Canadian line. Here's Gusev firing it. 
Anuanov, Kornwaye, Lambert laying it out over the line. Chasing it to the far side, finally Gusev got it. Hit Alexandrov, two to one, Montreal leading in the second period. Lambert couldn't hold the pass. Zagankov to Lechenko, and he missed Shuktov. Don Ori ahead for Risebrow. Now Alexandrov missed a pass. The checking so close right here, both teams failing to find the target on the passes. Ori to Lambert ahead to Risebrow. He failed to negotiate contact. Now Nikulov. He's got there by Risebrow. Risebrow coming in. Tom Lee and Lambert moving up. There's Lambert. Nikulov. That pass hit Vikulov. He seemed to get it on the side of the face. Now Popov speeds to center in over the Montreal line. It swept off his stick by LaPointe. LaPointe rolling it ahead into the center ice area. The Red Army team making changes. A dire dearth of whistles here in the second period. Kuzkin dropping it back to Balsett. He starts in on the right side. It's cleared back to the line. Here's Popov. Putting it off to the side of the is Kalidukin, and he fired it wide. Robinson trying to clear it, and finally LaPointe goes in there to take over for the Canadians. Ahead to Jarvis. Jarvis down to the line, and he's offended, and Kalidukin, I think, is going to get the penalty. There's a good chance here now for Canadians to get right back and take over the play again. LaFleur shot. Mahovlich, LaPointe, and Van Boxmeer on the power play for the Canadians. We'll give you the Soviets defending lineup in just a second. Now then, Mahovlich sent it right in! Front, and the first slapped it wide from the side of the net. Oh, what a That chip. was a beautiful setup. Great play, Kirk, by Pete. You know, Dick, in the pregame warm-up, he was stopping all his shots on the co low corner of the net with his goal pad. Most goaltenders stop them with their sticks. There was a good example. He got that goal pad across and give it all that more strength behind the stop. Now Lafleur to Van Boxbeer, to Peter Mahavali, to Lafleur right in front of the net. And he was in there pretty close. He couldn't get it up. And right there to block it, Tretziak. Canadians throwing the puck around very well, and uh, the Soviets, John, that, they're standing still a little bit out here on this penalty-killing roll, which surprises me. They're making a change now. Well, they went into a complete two-man defense, two-man offense here, that four-man box. The Canadians penetrated very good there, and, and they were unfortunate not to score. Lafleur gets it up in the top corner. Gusev is on defense with Luchenko for the Soviets. Back to LaPointe, there's the shot, and it's blocked. Soviets breaking out. Petrov over the line. And LaPointe and Van Boxmeer got back. Here's Mahovlich with Lafleur in over the line. Mahovlich near the corner. On the boards. He's upended. And there's a penalty coming up to Gusev. Gusev going off with a minute and 15 seconds left in Solidukin's penalty. What's a two-hander first? Now takes his feet from underneath them. Here's Lafleur over to LaPointe, closing in for the shot. Sagankov got it. He starts out over the line. Soviets are two players short here. Here's the master, Mikhailov. Gets it back to the line. Luchenko lost it. Now Lafleur. 52 seconds left in Solidukin penalty. Cornwaye coming in. He centered it. Peter Mahal is trying to get in front. They fight for possession. Mikhailov comes up with it for the Soviets. Brings it out to center, he falls. Lafleur coming back, hits the Soviet line. Cutting it on the right side. And it's swept away by Tretziak. Zygankov cleared it down the ice. Driving ahead to LaPointe. LaPointe up on the left side to Mahavlich. Here's Mahavlich getting set the back pass. LaPointe over to Lafleur, closing in for the shot. Luchenko got in front of it. Here's Cornwaye, two Canadians in front, and it bounces off a stick to the corner. Petrov against Lemaire. Here's Cornwaye to Lafleur. He rips the shot just wide. A loose in front of the net. Cornwaye scores! <laughs> a 
Last time Evans scored a trip jack, John was the tire in game eight. Another wrist shot, Dick, and he really fired it. Got LaFleur's rebound and high on Trechak. And the papers coming down here in the form, Dick. Tremendous atmosphere. Here's a shot by LaFleur. Over the top of the glass. Now watch Cornway. He's so sharp in front of that net. Here's the wrist shot up high. And Trechak, of course, was down on his, on his knees and no chance at all. Close up, look at it here. You get a good look here at the wrist shot that Cornway takes as he swings around and just lets it go. The goal came just as the penalized player who was off first came on the ice, so that wipes out the other penalty, too. This is to number 10. Well, there was no question that second penalty was definitely deserved by Gusev. He gave him a two-hander, and then he took his feet from underneath. And like you said, Dick, he made a reaction toward the referee. It's the first time in two games that they have reacted to a penalty call against him. Montreal three, the Red Army one. Now here's Papa breaking in on the left side over to Malsev, and he couldn't get a good shot away. Again, Boucher. I think Samard is getting a penalty for hooking as he followed in on the original puck carrier, Papa, on the play. So quickly after the Canadians make it three to one, they will be playing a man short as Samard goes to the penalty box. Canadian's penalty number 18, Serge Savard. Two minutes for hooking at 9 minutes and 52 seconds. 9 minutes and 52 seconds, the time of the penalty. And the statistics being recorded by the Soviet <laughs> coaching department. That's his job. Remember, old Tarasov used to be back there by himself. He used to change the lines and make the notes at the same time. Now they have a... Alexandrov is the note taker. Schluchtoff, big center is out there. He goes to the corner against Robinson who cleared it on the left side and it went over the glass. The New York Rangers are back in action and they are trailing the Atlanta Flames 2-0 at the end of one period of Madison Square Garden. There's a look at Dougie Jarvis winning that faceoff. And in Detroit in the second period, the Red Wings are ahead of Washington 1-0. Vasiliev is in over the line. Alexandrov is out there, too. Here's Ganey coming down with Jarvis off Ganey's stick. Vasiliev to Vikulov. He cuts through center, weaves his way to the Canadian's line, loses it, and it's cleared out by Jarvis. We have Vikulov, Shluktov, Alexandrov, Sagankov, and Vasiliev. That's a power play for the Soviets. Robinson in behind the net. Robinson gets it and shoots it down the ice, and now we have a minute and 20 seconds left in the penalty. Sagankov, who slipped off. He comes down to the Canadian's line, gives it to Vikulov, back to Vasiliev. He shoots it right in front of the net, and Ori got in front of it, clearing it ahead for Ganey. Ganey falls. Looked off to Alexandrov. He loses it at the line, and Jarvis clears it down. The Soviets have been unable to get on track on the power play tonight. The tenacity of the checking of the Canadians has been a thing of beauty. Vasiliev cleared it in front, and now it's the mayor ahead to Robinson in on the left side. Robinson into Soviet territory. Sagankov. In on the boards, takes over. He's bumped and knocked to the ice by Lemaire. Vasiliev, rink wide pass. Mikhailov is on the ice now, and it's cleared over the glass by the Canadians to Lemaire. They are 18 seconds short of the completion of this penalty. It's the third penalty the Canadians have drawn in the game, and so far on Soviet power plays, the Army team has not managed a shot on goal. They have just one shot in this period. The Canadians have outshot them nine to one, but the one shot was the goal for the Soviet team that made it a two to one hockey game, and then Cornway upped it to three one. Savard in the box, 18 seconds left. It is Petrov, 16 at center. Harlamov, who has the puck now, he's on the left wing. Mikhailov, who takes the pass at center, is on the other side. Now he's going through center. Gives it to Gusev. He breaks the stick on it, a weak shot. Harlamov trying to center it, and Dryden is there to get a face-off. 
This is an important face-off deck with one second left to go, and this is what Canadians have really have really taken over over the Soviets has been the face-offs tonight, and also the Rangers did too. And this could be a weak part of the Soviet game is a center ice face-off. In the first period, there were 20 face-offs. The Canadians won 14. They didn't win that one. Now it's back to Vasiliev. He tried to set up Harlamov in front. He missed it. The penalty has expired. And Roberts comes down to the line, broken up by Gusev. Petrov working his way to the Canadian side. Mikhailov, a weak shot. Harlamov is covered on the far wing, and it is Savard for Montreal just dumping it in over the line. And they do that when they want to make changes. And that's what Montreal is doing. Here's Lafleur stealing the puck. Lafleur is in the Soviet zone. Nifty work along the boards by Lafleur. Now he tries to center it. And it's picked up by Gusev. Mikhailov dashes down through center ice. In over the line with Petra. Broken up by Wilson. Jarvis rolls it over the line. Harlamov on the right side. Here's Petra back to Harlamov. Mikhailov takes a shot. Harlamov around the net. He centered it in for the Vasiliev, a shot, and a big save by Dryden, and it's cleared by Lafleur. The Soviet buzzing around, and finally Wilson shoots it down the ice, and that's going to be icy. Game three of Super Series 76 is coming to you from the Forum in Montreal. Face off to the left of Dryden, Solidukin. Played it back, shot has it, headmans it, but it's intercepted by Kuzkin. Over to Popov, in over the Canadian zone, getting into the slot position. And his shot went off Savard's stick. Kornway fired it to an open right wing. Volchenkov, number 13, he's on defense now, along with Kuzkin. Here's Maltsev. Some feel to think he's perhaps the most dangerous of all the Soviet players, number eight, but that time they couldn't get anywhere. Here's Kornway and he just grazed the goal post. That was diligent work by Kornway. The Maybach shot possible. He's at it again. Now the Soviets start out. Solidukin comes to center to the line. Works in on the left side. Here's Solidukin around the net. Centered it right in front. And it was gobbled up by Mahavli. Mahavli works his way, weaving down to the Soviet line. Now he puts on the brake. The Hobley still with it. Pass went off a leg. Solidukin laying it around the net. Here's Cornwallier getting in first with the stop. And Tretziak was ready for him. Volchenkov clearing it out. Malsev turning at the Soviet line. In over the Canadian blue line, the shot. Dryden making the save on the short side. Canadians are leading here. A three to one. And we have just over five minutes left in the second period. Luchenko laying it back to Kuzkin. He fanned on an attempted pass. Schluckhoff is on the ice. Now Trombley comes in. He's bumped by Luchenko. Kuzkin got away from Reisbrow. Canadians making changes. Alexandrov on the right side. Left the clock, went the other way. Don Ory was trying to set him up. He didn't want it. Now Robinson is in over the line. Lambert couldn't get it. Vikula coming down over the line. Schluckhoff is in there too. Now on the board. Lambert gives it to Robinson ahead to Trombley. Trombley at the Red Army line. Fakes the shot around the net. Trying to center it. He carries on to the corner. Bumping there along the board gently. It's a quick ball. Tonight, the Red Army team has not had many two-on-one breaks. Goalies generally say to the defensemen in the words of the old song of a few years ago, it's you and me against the world when the Soviets break in two-on-one. There's Don Ory with a shot, but they have been tied up tonight. That shot ended up on the mesh. Ferg Don Ory has a little bit to prove, I think. Uh, he did not have a very happy experience with Team Canada 72. He only played in two games. Not to look at Doug Jarvis winning a faceoff. Uh, but well, you have to figure that Ory's been outstanding so far this evening. He certainly has. He's really taken the man out of, out of the play. He hasn't played the puck, just played the man. Didn't, you don't have to knock him through the board, just take them out. And that's what he's been doing. And of course, in 1972, in that first game, 
Harlowoff made that great move on Downey and kind of changed the whole game at that time. Young Jarvis, we've looked at a couple of slow motions of him on the faceoffs, and he's done quite a job tonight. Face off outside the Red Army line. And the point to Savard. Savard chops the shot into the corner. Gusev. With Lemaire after him. It hit Wilson. Gusev barges along the boards. Where is it, they say, and it's back on the stick of Gusev. He gives it to Petrov. Petrov forced back into his own zone. Here's Gusev. Canadians doing four checking of a tremendous magnitude right here. They have the three forwards up and their defense up near the line. Now they fall back. Petrov is starting out. Petrov is coming down to the Canadian line. He's in over the line. Harlemov going in. He scores! Beautiful setup. And Harlemov with that backhand shot gets a beautifully executed goal by the Soviets. And again, it's on the table, Vic. A three and two Montreal. He makes the big play, John, and he makes it again. Yeah, here's Petrov now. He's a great stick handler. Number 16. Now watch him slide this puck through to Harlemov. And goes right in between Lemaire. Gila Point and the backhands are right into the far corner. This is a super goal again. It's like the one he got in New York the other night. Well, a few times the Canadians' defense has sort of moved over and been a little too close together. They were both on that one side. Seven shots for the Soviets. Two goals. Three-two Montreal. Red Army goal scored by number 17, Valery Karlamov. Assist number 16, Vladimir Petrov. And number 7, Boris Mikhailov. At 16 minutes, 21 seconds. Here's Mikhailov coming back in over on this side. Two seven screen shot. And it went high off the glass. That goal, Karlamov. We'll bring it up to date later as Ganey races in there. Back to the point it comes, kept in by Savard. Here's Lafleur trying to center it. Gusev Gotti in front of it. Petrov out to Harlemov. Over on the other side, Mikhailov has dropped to Petrov. He centered it, and the point was there. He sends the first through center, fading to the right side. The fur being watched by Gusev, it's centered. And it's cleared now through the crease inadvertently by the Soviets. Vasiliev ahead to Petrov. Robinson breaks over. He darts in on the left side, puts on the brakes, getting set for a pass maybe. He still has it. Now he gets it out in front of the He fired it. And it went off the stick of Petrov over the glass. And there you see the shots on goal, 21 to 7 for Montreal. So there's a maximum productivity as far as the Soviet team is concerned, 2 out of 7. You don't do much better than that. And that last one was a beaut. Now Mohavlic getting it to Cornwallier, getting ready for the other side. And a splendid save by Tretziak. And what a play by Cornwallier. Pop off over the line, tied up by Don Ory. Peter Mohavlic's pass goes off a leg. It's stopped, brought in by Solidukin. Could be a delayed whistle, but the Canadians start out. Montreal leading here with less than two minutes to go in the second period. It is three to two. Here's Maltsev running into Robinson, and he stops. Volkenka blocks it to Cornwallier. And Cornwallier showing that dedication of speed that made him such a star for so many years in the NHL. Now Papa coming down on the line, trying to barge in there, and he's sandwiched by Mahovlich and Ori. Into the corner. The Soviet center it, and Papa slapped one on that pass from Maltsev, and it was wide. Now Canadians roll it into the center ice area. Solidukin turns, hits the line. He's trying to go through there. Goes to the left wing. Malsev's pass, stopped by Lemaire. Ahead to Ganey, one rushing back. Now Ganey over the line. Stavankov covering. Now Ganey getting set for the shot. He didn't pass it, he shot it, and it was low and wide. Now there are 53 seconds left. Here this is the second period out in front of comes off the air. And Pritchak covers up. Danny, you're talking about the seven shots and two goals. Only two members of the Soviet team have had shots. Mikhailov has had four. And Harlamov has had three. They have been the goal scorers. Berg, uh, Conway in close again. He sure was. Now watch this. The pad of his 
Go right down, and this is what I said earlier, that gets that pad right down on the plate. Saganka turning from the corner. He's being watched closely by Lemaire, feeds it on the other side, and Vikulov couldn't get it. And LaPointe to Severn. Just a half minute left now in the second period as the Soviets go back there. Luchenko bearing it through center. They're playing it rather carefully here in the final half minute of the second period. Now the Soviets start back. Alexandrov is in over the line, trying to set up Vikulov. And it's Lefleur coming out slowly. Half dozen seconds, Lefleur fires it in. And Luchenko has it, and that's going to be the second period with Montreal leading the Soviets a three to two at the end of two. Shots on goal in the second period by the Soviets, three for a two-period total of seven. By the Canadians, 11 for a two-period total of 22. Live from the Forum in Montreal, Super Series 76. Montreal, three. The Soviets, two, upcoming period number three. In that second period, the Canadians outshot the Russians 11 to three. Cornwallier had three shots on goal, and there we get a look at the Soviets filing out of their dressing room just below us over here on the east side. the Soviets and how they organized there when Petrov started that play to Karlo Harlamov. Uh, every time Mikhailov's great shot up in the top corner. But I'm really impressed with Tretyak and even now before this period start he's down doing his exercises and just a great goaltender. And so two hours and 54 minutes away from 1976 in Montreal we start the third period one goal separating the team. Gusev chased back by Ganey. Now he turns, starts in the center area. Hooked away by Lemaire to Lafleur. Here's Lafleur sending it to Ganey. And he fired it just wide. Ganey bursting in on the left side. Petrov cleared it out over the line. Lemaire coming back quickly up and it. Vasiliev is going off. I think it'll be he. Boy, tripping one of the defensemen. Vasiliev draws his second penalty of the game. This one for tripping is the call as he tried to give LeMaire the hip treatment but got him with the leg. Canadians scored one power play goal tonight. It was Cornway's goal with two men off in the second period. Mahovlich, Lafleur, Lambert, Van Box, Mir, and Lapointe on the power play. Lambert has it on the boards around the Soviets' net. Lambert to Lafleur. Here is Lafleur getting set for a pass. Van Box, Mir winds up. He shoots it. And a big leg save. Now there's a shot that hit right in front. And a shot by Lafleur. That went off Pretziak. They jam it on the board. And the face off in the Soviet zone. This has got to be a pretty big moment for the Canadians. Uh, chat. And once again, the story right here, Fergus Tretiak. Lambert got his stick on it, and Tretiak saved it. Now watch this other shot come through. Now watch Lafleur fire one. <laughs> Super golf ending. A minute and 36 seconds left in the penalty to Vasiliev. Scotty Bowman making a change. Savard is on. Lemire is on. Now Lafleur goes to the corner. Back near the point. Lafleur right in front of Lemire. He tried to slide it through to Lambert and it went by Lambert. Back to Savard. There's the shot. Lafleur trying to get a shot cleared by Gusev. Canadians keeping it in. Here's Lafleur winding up for the shot. The man shoots it and it's blocked by Tretiak. Another shot. Oh, and a save there on Lambert by Tretiak. Boy, what else can you say about Tretiak, the goaltender? The Canadians have just been all over them on this power play. They've had great chances, but they have not scored. The mayor had a shot. Lafleur had a shot. Here's Lambert, a typical position in front of that net. Now watch the puck go back here. Lef Lambert gets it up. Now watch this save. He's going over him and he gets his glove hand out. 
Canadians were in the process of making changes with Mahavlich and Cournoyer coming on to take over from Le Maire. And maybe Le Fleur, yes, Le Fleur is going off and so is Lambert. Petrov at center. Gusev in possession, fired it off the boards, not out. Savard working it into the corner. Savard around the net. Here's Savard trying to center it off Gusev's stick, and Luchenko cleared it down the ice. There are now 47 seconds left in Vasiliev penalty as the Canadians organized, led by Lapointe. Ahead to Mahavli with Cournoyer shot and Savard in over the line. Mahavli fired it to the far side. And he didn't miss by much. Here's Tavar keeping it in, the shot. Kretziak had no trouble with that, and he covers up. Well, another of those individual type moves by Pete Mahovlich, and he let that one go on the stick handle. Top corner was his target, didn't miss by very much. There's the man of the hour right here in this hockey game. The Canadians have had four shots on goal during this power play. The goal's gonna loom very big here, Dick. The Canadians have really played Sparkling hockey, especially in a power play. Gusev behind the net. He flicked it to the far side. Petrov ahead to Lushenko. He's coming down in over the Canadian line. And he fired it from the sharp angle. Just 13 seconds left in the penalty. And Lapointe gets by Mikhailov. Beats it ahead to Ganey. He steps in over the Soviet line. There's the shot. And that changed direction and went over top of the net. Le Maire in for the third. The penalty now has been served by Vasiliev. He takes the pass out to center. Vasiliev over to Gusev. He's turning back. It goes to center. Mikhailov has it down on the right wing. Trying to barge through there and he couldn't get by Ganey. Montreal three. The Soviets two. Third period. Maltsev tipped it into the center ice area. There's the bird who has played an indefatigable game for the Canadians tonight. He's been on the move all the time. Intercepted by Maltsev is the first. Now grabbed off by Wilson Paul on the outside. Harry Wilson started this game off with a breakaway, semi-breakaway attempt on the Soviet goal, and the pace really has not slackened since then. The territory, John, it's been all Montreal. Well, they just played wonderful hockey tonight. They checked their wingers. They, there's been a lot of play right at center ice, but they've had some excellent shots, and the young players for Canadians tonight have, have really come through for them. And of course, Big Peter's played a super game, and he's been unlucky so far. Scores only 3-2. Oladuchin cleared it, and then Risebrow fired it into the corner. Soviet starting out, Volchenkov cleared it to center. John Ory waits, and he ripped his shot back in there. Oladuchin, he fell, Tremblay missed it. Popov knocked it out, Robinson starts back. Canadian strategy here, they're clearing it in. A shot by Robinson from the sharp angle. Now Robinson gets it in ahead to Lambert on the backhand. He shoots it on a clock on the short side by Tretiak. Face off to the left of Tretiak. Jarvis against Schluchtoff. Robinson tipped it in. Luchenko from the corner failed to clear. And Roberts whipped the shot into Tretiak. Now Wilson shoots it and it's blocked. Zagankov coming out, ahead to Shluktov. Shluktov over the line, there's the pass, Alexandria, he scores! Alexandrov, and it is tied at three. Fergie, these fellas are just amazing. That was a two-on-one break with Don Ory trapped on the play. You just don't give them a chance. No, you certainly can't. What's locked off, number 22? Six foot three, 190 pounds, 21 years of age, watch him. Over to Boris Alexander out there, two youngest players, and it gets by Dryden. Once again, Dryden gets a piece of it. Now here's Ari getting turned around at center ice. The two-on-one break with Robinson electing to drop to the ice in a sliding type defensive move. He did not make it, and the puck gets in behind Dryden. We've got a tie hockey game.
Red Army goals, card by number 11. Boris Alexandrov, assist to number 22, Viktor Shlukov. Oh, here's a close-up look at it now, and the net, Alexandrov, who got a goal against the Rangers, gets this one again. You see Dryden getting, stopping the puck, but not stopping it totally, and it's over the line. Dick, that's a young fellow we saw last year when the juniors came right. over, the Soviet juniors, and he was outstanding in Winnipeg. Sagankov and Shliptov assisting on the goal by Alexandrov. The tie at three. Now the Soviets come back, spinning around. Savard clearing it to Lafleur. He's checked. Savard gives it to Lapointe. Back to center, off the leg. They pile off in over the Canadians' line. The pass, it's Ganey going after it along the board. Now Canadian. Ganey with the mare. Lafleur on the far side. Lafleur and his pass went off the leg of Gusev. Petrov to Harlamov in over the line. And it is called offside against the Soviets. Lapointe. Clearing it ahead, it's loose. Karlamov's pass stopped by Lemaire, it's recovered by Petrov. Petrov, it's stopped by Lemaire again. Gusev. Now it's cleared out by Mikhailov. Again, they're checking very, very closely. The point rolled it in over the line. Karlamov trying to get away in the center ice area. Ganey watches him. Vasiliev in over the Canadians' line, around the net, centered it, and Lapointe takes over. Lapointe chasing it to the left side. Score is tied at three goals. Here's Harlemov. Harlemov getting in front, and he fired it, and it went off the bird wide. Lafleur had to go off his stick. He was checked. Down the ice it goes, and it is icing against Montreal. As we get a confined look at the Soviets bench, the face-off. The right of Dryden Popov's shot was weak and wide. Now Mahovlich picks it up at center in over the Soviet line. Here's Mahovlich trying to fire it in front. Volchenkov in there against Mahovlich. Kuzkin takes over. Out it goes off Robinson's stick from center. And that's Don Ory back there with Balsev watching him. Cournoyer couldn't corral it on the right side. While Trinkoff back into his own zone, icing against the Canadians. And that does not sit well with this partisan Canadian crowd. Yeah, a bit of a dubious call by Carindon. Maybe a confusion on the rules. And the reaction of the fans. In our hockey, of course, if a player has felt that he can play the puck, the icing is waved off, but it stands here, and we'll have the face-off in the Canadian zone. The Soviet team, a lot of youngsters on it. They're ages 22, 23. Uh, the majority of them are certainly under 25 years of age. Volchenkov and Kuzkin, the defensemen, are in over the Canadians' line. Montreal can't get out the first time. Now Mahavli jumped his shot. Shot coming in on that left side, trying to barge in there. Volchenkov takes over. He feeds it ahead to center. Popov with Malsev. They're in over the line. And Popov ripped that shot off the falling booster. Kuzkin over on the other side to Malsev. And the pass comes away to the right side. Back into the center ice area. Now there are exactly 13 minutes left in this hockey game. Canadians led a 3-1 at one stage, but it is now tied at three. There's the fellow who scored the tie goal, Alexandrov. Gets it ahead to Vikula. Zutkov took the shot. Dryden cleared it. Some of the crowd getting on Dryden. Now Cornwallier dashes down on the right wing. Fires a shot. And it's gloved by Tretiak. John, of late, Tretiak's been smothering the puck quite a bit. Whenever it's been in his area, he seems willing to stop the play. Well, he, when he has no, any time at all, he gloves that puck and just controls it, waits for a face-off. Now 
Then Boxmere and LaPointe, they are out of your picture. They are on the points. Schliptoff against Risebrow on the draw. Alexandrov is a bit fractious. Now it's back to LaPointe. There's the shot blocked by Tretiak. Lambert waited too long. Zagankov poked it away and then played it along the board. He has difficulty getting out the first time, and he rolled it to center. The point ahead to Lambert. He cleared it in. Risebrow with it. Here's Risebrow on the board. Risebrow working off the board. Still has the center to the inside. Zagankov sends Alexandrov away. Shluktov has to go off his stick. He and LaPointe go to the corner. Now they played along the board. Rise Brown and Alexandra started to shove each other rather meaningful. The Gangkok in his own zone. Lutsenko cleared it to center. Now Canadian Lambert finally gets it. In over the line, center again, in front. Retiek got a stick on it. Now Risebrow backhanded it against the stick and it goes over the net. Alexandrov, a pass taken by Vikulov. Vikulov over the line, trying to get by LaPointe and he couldn't. Here's Tomlin, down with Jarvis and Lambert. To Jarvis over to Lambert. And the pass was just behind Lambert. He was ready to move in unmolested on the left side. With 11-13 remaining in the third period, the score, the Canadians three, the Soviet Red Army three. Now Stavard ripped a high one from center. Vasiliak laying it out to the line. They pile off the flank it down the ice. This will be icing against the Soviet. 10-57. Third period, Soviets for three, Montreal Canadiens for three. This game marks the halfway point for the Army team in their trip. They will play the Boston Bruins next Thursday night, and the Philadelphia Flyers in the final game of the series a week from Sunday on the 11th. Now LaPointe has it. He's closing in for the shot. That was a screen shot, low and wide. Armalov shoots it down the ice again. The Army team calls. For Isaac. Well, the New York Rangers continue to struggle. They are now trailing Atlanta 5 0 in the third period in New York. The Penguins lead the Los Angeles Kings 5 1 in the third period in Pittsburgh. And it's 2 0 for Detroit over Washington in the third period in Detroit. And that Atlanta Rangers game could go a long way toward determining the Rangers' playoff possibilities. They'll be behind eight points if they lose. Now Petrov. Petrov in over the line. Weak shot goes off LaPointe. Severd ahead to Lemaire with LaFleur. Severd and Ganey. They shoot it in there behind the net. LaFleur right out in front. And it was called. And the crowd again did not uh, like that. That's a mistake by the Soviet official, and they are recognizing that fact by dropping the puck right at center ice. Solidukin at center against Jarvis. There's Jimmy Roberts trying to get possession. Now Robinson feeds it in over the Soviet's line. Solidukin against Jarvis. Volchenkov pinned in on the boards by Roberts. And they'll face off to the left of Tretiak. Well, the Canadians have had so many scoring chances. John, uh, do you think things with 10 minutes to go on the score tied might tighten up a little bit here now? Well, they have to adapt to a defensive style to be sure, but they've played so very good, they deserve to win. Popov rolls it to center. Robinson gets it in over the line. Jarvis tipped it, and it's Kuzkin for the Soviets. He beats it through center. That's going to be icing. And the Soviets have been called with a fair degree of regularity for icing in this third period. Shots on goal are now 30 to 10 in favor of Montreal. Well, Canadians are in a position here where they could win a faceoff and get a good shot away. If you dump that puck down the ice like that, Canadians got some great faceoff men, and they've scored a lot of goals right off the faceoff, Dick. The other night, the Soviets had great success with those long passes in New York. Tonight, I believe they've clicked on only two of them, but on one of them, the second one, it led to the Harlemov goal. So they don't waste their opportunities. They certainly have not tonight. 
Canadians, everybody up on the draw. Petrov got it to Gusev. He cleared it ahead. Finally, it's knocked out by Petrov. Ahead to Harlamov. He's cutting in on that left wing. Upended by good back checking by Lafleur. Gusev to Petrov. Here's Petrov winding up for the shot, and he rattled it off Savard's leg. Now then, Savard working from the corner, swinging away from the pylon. Savard down on the left side. He shoots it in. It changed direction. Gusev with Lafleur after him. Now Ganey going in to help out. Gusev holds on, starts out, gets it out over the line. Gusev looks back at Lafleur, who's checking. Boy, was Lemaire ever belted, and did he go down heavily just outside the Soviet line? Now puck to Ganey, and he couldn't get a shot away. It was cleared in time by Gusev. Lafleur is upended by Gusev. Here's Harlamov coming down on the left side, and he couldn't get by Robinson. Robinson and Harlamov fight for it. Petra bringing it in offside. And there you see the statistical story, 8.35 left, third period. Each team with three goals. Robinson being watched by Alexandrov. Uh, Vikulov is up there too. Zagankov takes it off the boards, loses it to Shutt. Shutt failed to clear it up. Shluktov, he lost it to Shutt. Over for Cornwaye. Here's Cornwaye, dashing in, he shoots it. And Petsiak was right there in the line of fire. The Hobblies jammed his man Vikulov out of the play. Shluktov bringing it in over the line. He's forced back out with eight minutes left. Shluktov. Playing it back to the line, Luchenko. He shook down, being watched by Mahovlich. Mikulov played it back in. Cornwaye almost got it. Sagankov has to turn from the corner to get away from Cornwaye. Scott picks it up after Cornwaye stopped it on a soft off shot stick. Slipped off ahead to Alexandrov. Mikulov on the other side. Alexandrov loses his balance behind the net. And Mahavlich jumps from the corner. Here's Mahavlich down to center, coming down on the line, still with it, working it to the corner. Bournoye over the shot. He couldn't pick it up cleanly. Sagankov down on the right wing, in over the Canadian's line. Mahavlich picks up a loose puck at center. Here's Mahavlich on the backhand. He turns, getting set for a pass. Kilo Point closing in for the shot. And Petsiak had trouble with that one. But as usual, as he has done most of the night, he held it up. Trouble indeed, Danny. That one seemed to hit the stick, but he did not have control of it, John. No, he certainly didn't, Dick. And Peter Mahavlich made a great play to LaPointe. LaPointe really fired this one. And here's the shot. He didn't have control of it at all. It's but he's, he protects that rebound. Now the point shooting it again. That was a hard one, and he has a quick hand, John. Oh, he certainly has, Danny. And he's been super tonight for the Soviet Union, and he's been the deciding factor as far as I'm concerned. The crowd urging the Canadians on as time becomes a factor. Now Popov in over the line. Solidukin follows in against Trombley. Trombley hit Reisbrow with Lambert. Lambert chasing it to the left side, and Kuzkin gets it out. Now Trombley waiting for Lambert to get onside. Volchenkov on the left wing. Trombley was going after his man instead of the puck. He had a chance to pick it up. Now Lambert rolled it out over the line. Canadians leave it there. Solidukin coming back in. Stick handling shoots it along the ice. Now the Russians in there, here's Popov getting set, and a great defensive play by Van Box here on that pass. Lambert down in on the left side. Lambert follows in, passed it down on his knees, and the Soviets start back. Maltsev ahead to pop out. Maybe a drop pass, not coming right into the must be. The light doesn't go on, and it's the goalpost. That looked as if it had gone in, but it hit the goalpost. 
Well, it's 1-1 in goalpost. Wilson in the second period, and that one on a super play by Popoff. Dryden was beaten cleanly, John, but the post came to the Canadian's well, rescue. He got a lucky bounce here, Popoff, and got by Savard. Now watch him golf this one right off the goalpost. <laughs> Murray Wilson earlier, and Popoff right now, and that ties it up in goalpost. 5.49 remaining. 3-3 three, three the score. Now we're going to get another look at it. Watch the goal post to Dryden's left. There it is. Soviets, everybody up on the face-off. Vasiliev winds up for a shot. Stopped by Ori. Picked up by Lemaire with Lafleur and Ganey. Ganey at the line. Both checked by Vasiliev. Now then Robinson. Lemaire couldn't hold it. Petrov swings back to his own line, watched by Ganey. Vasiliev, Mikhailov, back into the corner for Kusev. Kusev turning, now it's intercepted by Ganey. Ganey going in, he shoots, and a big save by Petsiak. Great opportunity for the Canadians there as they pick up that errant pass. Now Hermelov couldn't get Mikhailov's pass. Well, both teams have guilt-aged opportunities to get the go-ahead goal. Now in over the line, Lafleur with Lemaire. Lemaire shooting it. Moved away by Prezia. Petra picks up the puck again in over the line. Lemaire starting out over the line. Ahead for Lafleur. It was too far. Lafleur around the net. They thought they were going to have a whistle there for the offside, but Lafleur has it, gives it to Peter Mahab. He's over from the net. He's done, done it. He was all alone in front of the net. Shot. John, I can't recall a recent game in the NHL when the Canadians have had so many scoring chances. That's the one by Ganey. You know, Harry said the other night many times, if you're going to catch this team, it's going to be inside their own blue line. Well, they have been sloppy. Now the point. Keeps it in, takes the shot right on. That was screen, and Tretziak is incredible. Shots on goal to this point in the game, 36 to 11. I can tell you there's 19,000 people collectively holding their breath every time the Soviets get inside the Canadians' blue line. They got the old Habs go Habs chant going <laughs> now. That'll inspire them. Well, there are four minutes and 16 seconds left in the game. And I didn't get that statistic from Ron Andrews. It's up here on the clock. Canadians, Cornwallia chasing it. Back in for Shutt. Here's Shutt trying to center it. The Gunkoff cleared it to the line. Savard pumped it back in. Cornwallia centering it. It goes high into the air. Schluchtoff playing it to Sagankov. Up to Alexandrov. Alexandrov. Vikulov in over the line. Schluchtoff loses it. Canadian shot got clear, but without looking, and it went to a Soviet player. They could have had a three-on-two break there. Now, at the Canadian's line, Cornwallia lost it. Here's Savard headmanning the puck to Wilson, broken up and cleared by Luchenko out over the line. And Vikulov rolled it ahead, and it's the point in his own zone. Nikolov watching him. Wilson fired it to an open wing. Now Alexandra turning at his own line. These players have got to be mighty tired at this stage in the game. Huck is in the Canadian zone. Alexandra doing the four checking against the bird. Now Jim Roberts comes on. Clears it on the left side. And Kuzkin knocked it back to center. Two minutes and 56 seconds left. Solidukin has it, he fires at the rebound, cleared by Savard. And it's the point. In behind the net. Now the Soviets are doing the four checking. They have their defense away up. They start to fall back as Roberts takes it. Gives it to Wilson. Wilson in over the Soviet line. Wilson on the board, played it back. And it goes down to the Canadians line. Jarvis couldn't get possession. Don Ory to Robinson on the left side. Canadians have been missing with that pass quite often when a fellow teammate is steaming in on either wing. 2.15 remaining as time becomes the biggest factor right here. 
Well, this has been quite a hockey game. Everything that everybody thought it would be. And Sunday afternoon, it should be another dandy. The Buffalo Sabres, Joe Barpera, Richard Martin, meeting Yakushev and the Soviet Wings on the air, 1 o'clock Eastern Time, Sunday afternoon. Now Robinson almost lost it. Here's Lemaire coming in with Ganey. Ganey back to Lemaire. Lemaire back to Ganey. It hopped over his stick. Ganey tried to center it. Again, Gusev. Here's Lemaire with it. Lemaire's pass gobbled up. Mikhailov has it. He's out there with a Harmelov and Petrov. That is a big line for the Soviets. Mikhailov cleared it ahead. Robinson knocked it back. Harmelov to Vasiliev. Score tied at three. A minute and 40 seconds left. Vasiliev up on the right side. Harlamov, he has a goal tonight coming in on the right side. Petra picked it up, dropped it back. Vasiliev taking a shot. It goes off a player high, and that was called on the offside. 127 left to play. 3 3 the score. John, I think the nicest thing about all of this, no matter what might happen in this last minute and 27, this game has lived up to its advanced billing right to the hilt, and I think it's a tribute to both hockey clubs. Well, it certainly has, Dick, and it's just been great hockey by both teams, good stick handling by both teams, good goalkeeping by Fred Jack, just been super. Mikhailov chops it in over the line. He took a high stick unintentionally. However, he is not suffering, and he's staying out there. 122 left. It's Lemaire, Lafleur, and Ganey. The forward line for the Canadians. No change for the Soviets. Harlamov, Petrov, Mikhailov. Now Savard is in over the Soviet line. Savard goes to the corner, trying to center it. Here's Ganey with it. Ganey has it. He centered it right in front. Here's Lemaire shooting it. And a tremendous save, another save by Tretziak. Scintillating save by Tretziak. Here's Harlamov coming in over the line. Harlamov centered it and is swept away by Sabird, who ignited that Canadian rally. Mikhailov shoots it, Dryden looked behind him, and it's cleared away by Lafleur. Dryden looked behind him on that. Now there are 34 seconds left. Harlamov goes to center. Mikhailov has it going in on the right side. And his pass is picked up by Jarvis. Here's Jarvis ahead to the point. Soviets take over. Harlamov in on the right side. Dropping it back. Petrov is getting set. He shoots it. And it went to the side of the net. There are now 12 seconds left. Wilson cleared it out. Sokankov over to Gusak. Jarvis has it outside his line. It looks like it's going to end at three. One second left. The game is over. And the Soviets and the Canadians tie at three. Well, John, it's just amazing. The final score is 3-3. The shots on goal, 16-6 in favor of the Canadians in the final period. 38-13 overall. I don't think we're being anything but fair to say that the Soviets were completely outplayed tonight. But we've just seen one of the greatest displays of goaltending that you can ever see. Just tremendous. I watched them yesterday in practice, worked so very hard, even in the pregame warm-up tonight. And uh, he has all the moves and watches a puck. Very seldom lets a rebound go out. Just a great hockey game. And 